say, oh, I'm not very good at puzzles, I couldn't do an escape room, or, um, you know, I don't work well with this person, I couldn't do an escape room, or I would get too frustrated, I can't do an escape room. So I wanted to tell you guys that working out puzzles is not the only thing that you have to do in an escape room. There are several important roles that a team needs to put together to complete an escape room successfully. Um, and one of them for sure is solving puzzles. If you're good at solving puzzles, you definitely want to be trying out escape rooms because it's the biggest puzzle that you'll probably have ever done and it'll be fun. But if you're not that good at solving puzzles, like logic puzzles or whatever, um, you might be good at finding things. If you're good at finding things, then we need you. Your team will need you in the escape room. Um, if you are good at remembering things, then we need you, okay? Your team needs somebody who can remember the locks that they found and the keys that they found so that you can put them together. Um, there are lots of different things that people can do in escape rooms. Even just being the person who communicates in an escape room, we need that as well because if people aren't able to communicate well with each other, get someone in your group who is good at communicating and they can communicate all the messages that you are saying. So guys, just because you're not good at puzzles does not mean that you can't do an escape room. However, I do recommend that you start with the beginner level escape rooms. There are lots in Brisbane. We have one called the Enchanted Forest that is a beginner level level, but in every single one escape room that you go to, there will be a beginner one. I do recommend you start there. Um, they're much easier. It, the most important thing is that you have fun with your friends or family or whoever you go with. Um, and if you don't get out, it's no big deal. But don't assume you're not gonna get out just because you're not good at puzzles. You only need one person to be good at puzzles um, and other people can be good at other things, okay? Everybody has talents and everybody can contribute. So that's my escape room for advice for today. We'll Bye. see you later. Bye.